Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Fingers Valley in Transport Fever 2. Right, okay, so uh, we're a little bit short on some cash here uh, on account of uh, spending a whole bunch of it doing stuff. Yeah, uh, so um, now we have uh, 5 million uh, loan space available and uh, well, we do have some income coming in. Not entirely sure how fast that's coming in, but we have some coming in. Now, what we've got going on here is we have farms producing and sending uh, food into Erie, which is actually uh, doing pretty decent with, um, with food supply. Uh, machines, we need more machines coming in there. Um, okay, so can we get more machines coming in there? That's a question. Uh, and can we do it without sending Fingers Malone out to lift them from somewhere? Uh, that, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be important as well. Okay, so what is the... We are short on steel. Okay. So where's the steel place? There's the steel place. We are short on iron. And where's the iron place? Um, the iron place is over here. Uh, if we look on here, well, uh, can we duplicate this? Not enough money. We can fix that. Duplicate it. No. No depot found. Oh. Well, that does complicate things, doesn't it? What does it mean, though, no depot found? If we close that, and we look at this, it just needs to get here. So why can't it use this depot? Duplicate. Nope. Apparently we can't use that depot. Well. Um, can I get one of these to work? Not that way. Okay, if I take this crossover out and I grab this can I get it all the way across no what if I take that out yep and then I do this ah apparently I can do that but I can't slip that okay can I do this I can do that, okay. And I can't slip that, but I don't need to. Okay. Well, uh, that is uh, probably acceptable. Okay, so we'll do that. Good. Now, we'll go back on here, grab the train, manage it, duplicate it. Now it works. Okay. Now we've got a second train on that line. Where Where is it going to? I've already got turned around. Okay, it's over here. Well, we have to let it actually move. Okay. Um, good. You know what? That's not terrible. I'm okay with that. Uh, okay, so that guy is going... Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
So now we are running uh, 220 rate and our uh, industry is producing 400. So we definitely need more, but let's see here. Right. How's the uh, coal uh, rate? Okay. I'm going to have to increase that too. Where's the coal mine? It's over here. Um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put a second uh, coal train on there too. Good. Right, now that'll take a while to actually do anything useful. Um, yeah, it'll take a while. Uh, that's fine. It, it can take as many whiles as it needs. Now, I need to uh, come up with some sort of uh, project uh, affair thingy to do here. Um, well, that doesn't involve spending millions of uh, mil millions in cash, right, to, uh, to do not much of anything. Right. Now, I'm pondering uh, what I'm going to do with this map. Um, I, I set this up deliberately to have a ridiculous number of industries, right? And uh, that's, um, that's kind of intentional, uh, but it does mean connecting everything to everything is unlikely to ever actually happen, right? Um yeah uh you know it, it it is unlikely uh the the map will just get too bogged down right now i'm wondering what the next project should be i'm actually wondering how i want to handle all of the uh the freight and everything um i think some sort of uh hub and uh hub interchange operation is going to be uh, relevant. So the idea, uh, ultimately, the idea is we'll pick a spot, say, I don't know, over here. Put a large hub uh, freight yard in. Then bring in uh, connections to the various nearby industries and also uh, longer trains going between that and other hubs, say one over here and one down here and uh, maybe one over here and one over here or something like that. And then from those hubs, uh, either run a shunter train or uh, a truck line into the city to do in into the towns to do the actual deliveries. That's the idea, right? Now for the uh, the shunter type service, I'd probably use Naffy's wagons, uh, which they they're basically uh, flat cars that carry all cargo, right? And you might think that's cheating, right? Uh, using uh, the Naffy's wagons. But that's really just intermodal freight, right? Uh, and it's no different than the wagons, the horse-drawn wagons and trucks that can take anything. So uh, I'm not especially opposed to it. And the Naffy's wagons do come with a capacity uh, decrease, right? So the bespoke wagons do carry more uh, than the equivalent Naffy's ones. And that's, that's, all perfectly, that's all perfectly fine. So... Uh, I'm okay with using naffies, but in cases where there's only one cargo or one type of wagon will do, the regular wagons are, uh, are probably better, right? But that doesn't tell me what the, the plan is for the next project. I probably had some idea involving Ann Arbor or Tempe or something like that. Um... Maybe. Uh, now, if I were to go take a, if I were to take a passenger line, run from Tempe to Ann Arbor, and then 
over to Arvada here. That might be appropriate. It might be. Yeah, that would open up this area. And that would also leave uh, open a possible uh, line coming down from Erie through Tallahassee and into Arvada. Yeah, okay. I think I'll go through do the Tallahassee Arvada one first. Yeah, so that means, ooh. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, we do have a spare platform there, so uh, we can leave this line as is. And I just need to get it out of the uh, development here. Uh, so how am I going to do that? Well, uh, obviously, I could do this. Ooh, that's just brutal. That is, however, potentially acceptable. Yeah, I could put it there. Now, what does that look like? We got that. That. I think that's acceptable. Build it. Yeah. Yeah, that's acceptable. So, we'll do this. And this. Yeah. Then we'll do this. Nope. Uh, we'll do it from this way. Yep. Yep. Okay, and we'll do this one. Yep. Like that. Yep. And we're going to just kill this crossing. Yep. Okay, now... That gets the uh, the track out of the uh, the city development. Uh, we'll put put a cross over here. Yeah, yeah. Now we're out of cash, uh, which is to be expected. Now down here at Tallahassee, where do we want it? Uh, along here. Yeah, I think so. So that's going to be a for a a station. What? I pressed the wrong button. Uh that one. Right. I could put it here. Hmm. I could put it there. Yeah. I'm going to put it there. Okay. Uh, that needs really to be uh, two platforms, uh, you, uh, uh, you, you putts. Nah, putts isn't the right term. Idiot. Okay, idiot will do. Uh, but fortunately, it's uh, easily remedied. Uh, yeah. We can make it look all nice and purdy. Yeah. Okay, that means we now need to get a track. Goes around like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that will work. Do this. Yeah. And then this. Good. Now, how are you going to get it to Erie? Well, I'm going to build a track, obviously. Uh, come around this way. No. Come up, cross here twice, and then... Yeah, okay. So, if we come up this way... Yeah. And then... We no, we come around this way. Uh, 
Um, well, we need some cash to build that. Eh. Yeah, keeping that level is probably smart. Okay. Um, but we need cash. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to come around this way. Come around this way and then cross over here. Yeah, okay, cross over there. Uh, build that. Come up this way. And then we cross over here. Yep. Yeah. Which side of the track is that? Okay. And then we can come out here toward it like that. Yeah, that that should work. Okay. Right. Okay, that gets us a track down there. Right, and we can bring this down to here. Yeah. Now I've got my uh, level crossings over here. Like this. Right. Good. Got that. Right, and doing it that way, we have one level crossing out in the countryside. Okay. Uh, good. That is... Uh, a line down there and then we need to come around this uh, mountain business here so we'll come around like this yeah I'll keep it flat going around like that okay now hmm uh, we can come out this way. Yeah, about like that. That seems uh, sensible, doesn't it? Now, we need to come around the toe of here. Okay. Um, right, we ran out of cash again. Uh, right. Okay, so don't do that just yet. Um... Look around where, where to put a station here. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? Right here. Um, yeah, but where is the other, where are the other tracks going to come in from? Uh, they're going to come in around this way. And probably from up here. Okay, this, uh, this orientation is actually perfectly fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, come on. That just ain't gonna fit, is it? No, it's not. Okay, now... Okay, go in here. Get the rest of the loan. Right, okay. Now, if we put this here, uh, put it up about there. Bam. Uh, what happens if I configure this and put a passenger building over here? What about this one? Okay, that one will connect. Good. Um, right, now I need to get over to the toe of the hill here. Yeah. Okay. Let, uh, let time move again. Uh, we come around like this. Good. Okay, we can come up roughly like this I think yeah yeah could be worse okay now 
we need to come across here and over over here okay well we can do that we can come across here yeah and over here yep now we're on that side of the track there we're on the other side of the track here okay so we'll bring this around this can come up this way yep and this can come up that way yeah okay well that's got a complete three stop line plumbed in uh okay well except for these bits yeah i'm sure that's uh, somewhat uh tedious uh observing the uh, crossing construction like that but that's how you get a flat crossing right uh and up to ooh we okay we have enough cash good uh now down here we need a crossover uh just stick a crossover in okay signals yep signals are a good idea bam 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 Bam. Yep. And you guessed it. Bam. Yeah, I know. That's absolutely uh, riveting. Watching uh, signals go in. Uh, here. 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 Yeah, up here. Now, I think two trains, maybe three on here is... Uh, appropriate three I think because they're fairly long hauls yeah okay and we have here and then here yeah yeah okay now where's a uh, is there an appropriate depot uh, anywhere near these probably not yeah probably not I think maybe we should put one down over over here somewhere. Well, you could do that. Flat. Uh-huh. And we do this. Okay, we can slip that. We can't slip this one. Uh-huh. Uh, I can slip that one. Okay. Now, uh, building, right? Yeah. No. Put that there. Yeah. And... Too much curvature. Right. Okay. Don't do that. Just take the road out. Okay. No. Buildings. Uh, <sighs> Building. Okay. Road. Uh-huh. Build that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, put that back in. Good. Right. Now, what do we need to uh, buy the train? Well, we're going to do a steam. Now, the general does 45. Okay, that one does 55. So we add that guy. And then cargo. No, nope, passenger. Passenger car does 50. Yeah. Four of those? Yeah, four of those. Buy it. New line. We will go here. 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 And here. Yeah. So this is Arv Erie Intercity. 
Yeah, that's Arv Erie Intercity. Right. Now, if we if we grab this, let's just observe the uh, the line here. Now, I was thinking uh, before I started the uh, episode here that I want to maybe try some uh, uh, some possible uh, detailing. Uh, around uh, some of these uh, uh, towns and industries, right? right? Once the industries are plumbed in and actually operating, right? Uh, I was uh, thinking that might be interesting to see if I could make it look like farmland or something like that all around uh, with roads snaking around to uh, access industries and all that business, right? I was just wondering about that and of course, that's going to make the save just dog it, right? But I was wondering uh, just how uh, how much of a, a pain that would actually be. I wondered how it would look over in the Erie Ann Arbor Triangle area there. Uh, you know, with all the, the industries, get it, well, you know, like when we get to the point where it's, uh, it's plumbed in better. Uh, so we're going to pick up... Uh, uh, a dozen and a half people there, basically. Um, and then we we head on for Erie, where I imagine we'll be picking up a larger uh, uh, cadre of passengers uh, to go back the other way. Yeah, mostly because they'll have had longer to collect. And I think perhaps... Yeah. Uh... Can we dupe it? Not enough money yet. Be nice if it said how much it would cost to clone the vehicle here. Okay, now we've got two trains on the line. Okay. Um, right. Uh, you know, as, as fun as it is, uh, just coming across the desert like this and all of that, right? And this does look actually kind of, kind of nice. Um... Yeah, I was wondering uh, how how things might run with a sort of detailing operation. And, uh, oi! Everybody's on one platform here. Uh, that's not right. Um, okay, we'll go in here. Terminals. Uh, two. Yeah, okay, that's better. Uh, okay, we've got too many passengers on this one. Uh, yeah. What if we were to manage the... No. No, we were to go in here, manage the vehicles. You are... Yep. Yeah. Add a passenger car to each of those, right? Add, 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 add. That's 1.6 million. Right. Well, um, if the uh, cash coming in uh, while I was building that line was any indicator, uh, we should get that relatively soon. Uh, so if we do this, do this, oh, just so that we can look at it. Yeah, we got a couple million coming in on the trains all the time, so uh, bring this back. Um, right. Uh, oh, autosave was here. Right, that's why everything was doing nothing. Uh, right. 1.1... So we've been coming in, uh, as long, if you discount any of the investments, we've been coming in quite positive for cash flow. So that's good. Uh, 
but our, our cash flow is still quite lumpy. And uh, that is, uh, of course, uh, going to improve as we have more things uh, moving uh, uh, passengers and freight around, right? Uh, more things turning a profit. Because uh, then it just becomes more likely that something is going to turn in a profit at any given time, right? Now we have 100K in... Uh, okay, so that increases that. Um, right. Okay. That will, that will increase the passenger traffic there. Uh-huh. I think we probably need to increase the, uh, uh, length of those trains again. Uh, yeah, probably manage vehicles, edit, add, add. Add, add. Yeah, we still need 1.6 million to do that. Um, yeah. But we spent 1.6 million and we're still up 500K. So uh, that means that uh, things are ticking along pretty decently here. Uh, and that's, uh, that's something. Uh, that is definitely something. Um, right. Right. Well, anyway, as I was saying, uh, I was uh, considering some detailing uh, around the rural areas, around the, the cities, right? Uh, where, uh, where it gets set up with, uh, where you set up roads that are uh, player owned so that uh, buildings don't get built along them. Uh, set them up on whatever and then set up, uh, you know, paint it as grass or, uh, or what have you. Uh, you know, make it look like fields and all that jazz, right? But that's quite a lot of uh, tinkering, and I don't think it'd be terribly exciting on camera. Uh, beyond the initial, uh, well, say, what if we try this, and look at how this looks, and whatever, right? Then again, is this particularly exciting, right? So, uh, so if you're watching this, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's uh, to each their own, very much so. Um, yeah, we okay. I need a train with a big payoff to uh, deliver cargo here. So even with the one point six million investment here, we came up three hundred k in the positive, and that is uh, that's what that's the sort of thing we want, right? Uh, that means that we were one point nine million positive on actual cash flow, uh, you know, for the operating budget, right? Uh, even if the there was a, a deficit, right? Okay, so we've increased the, uh, the train size again there. And I think that will be enough to uh, clear that uh, traffic down and give us a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, stuff going on there for, uh... oh, I think I was thinking of doing a loop from Tempe to Ann Arbor to Erie, um, or Tempe to Ann Arbor to Tallahassee. Now I'll look into that uh, if the uh, the uh, passenger traffic starts uh, uh, backing up there. Uh, what I want to look into here, uh, we've got plenty of uh, no. There's enough road vehicles there. Let's just take a look here. Now how's Erie doing? 126, um, uh, 68 on uh, machines. Okay. Right. Well, that's cool. Anyway, uh, I think we can uh, realistically put a cut here. Uh, that's a project done. Uh, we got uh, passengers coming through Tallahassee and Arvada. Uh, and Arvada can be our uh, jump over point to get to Lancaster and Denver. Uh, in fact, uh, Arvada to Denver to Simi Valley, uh, or Simi Valley, uh, 
that actually looks like a decent line. Uh, we would come around the nose of the plateau here, across this way, uh, probably over the... Uh, ooh. Uh, yeah, I'd have to investigate that at Denver, but... But we do have, uh, we have passengers. I, I think I want to, hmm, oh, maybe Worcester to, or Worcester here, over to Atlanta and then over to Arvada. That might be the, uh, the, the line to uh, put in there. Yeah, get this guy involved. So how would I do that? Well, I would come along here, probably leap over the river here, come through this way, then come around through here, and then punch through here, I think, and into the, uh, the station that way. Yeah. And then Fairfield can, uh, and Sacramento can connect in on that same connecting line. Yeah, well, that could potentially work. Uh, I will forget that entirely by the next episode. But anyway, that's going to be all for this time. Now, uh, just so you know, there, I do have a Patreon. So if you want to drop a couple bucks in the in the kitty, uh, head over there. At the link's in the doobly-doo. And uh, yeah, don't feel obligated. But if you feel like you want to support the channel at all, go ahead and do that. Uh, it's about the best I can do until I can get monetized. And even then, it's probably about the best I can do, right? Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for now. So see you back next time.